The La Beach Road is a two-lot project manned by two Chinese contractors. The road, which used to be single lane and a double lane at certain sections, will be transformed into a dual carriage and three lanes at certain points. The consultant working on the project from Askel Consultancy, Engineer Kweku Diafo, and material engineer on the project, Engineer Kweku Adentri Angwa, have been explaining what the project entails. Lot 1 starts from Osu and goes through Labadi, Teshi Tunungwa. Uh, there's a stream there called Blackasset Stream. That's where Lot 1 ends. Lot 2 starts from the Blackasset Stream, goes through the Janshan Mall, and goes to Tema, where we have the um, Tema Harbour. So that's Lot 2. Um, the project itself was started about a year ago, and we've gone very far with it. Yeah, every, every road is designed according to the traffic. That is the load okay. that is supposed to come on the road. And uh, here, you have seen that for so many years, we still have the road so level, only small, small corrections to be done and then we overlay for it to increase the lifespan of the road. Other routes were maybe not properly uh, designed to fit the traffic and therefore some of them go off. But uh, the most important is uh, knowing what the problem is on the road and designing to that and constructing to the problem on the site. So that's what, exactly what we are doing here. So essentially, there is no product without expiring date. What is the lifespan no, no, for, before for we even think side, of any form of... It's supposed to be about 25 years okay. for this, uh, for this uh, asphalt road. supposed to be 25 years. If it is a surface dress, it would have been 15 years. Okay. And then the motorway type is uh, 40 years. Dozens of houses and businesses will have to be demolished to make way for the dualization of the 26.6 kilometer stretch from Accra to Tema. According to engineer Diafo, this will cost about $2.5 million in compensation. In all these areas where we are widening the road from two lanes to three lanes, uh, from single lane to dual carriageway, we need to expand the road. Okay. And once we widen the road, we need more space. And it means that there's, if there are structures there, like cures, buildings, they must all go. Um, urban roads, who are the reps of the Ghana government, and the land valuation division of land valuation board have done all the analysis, and now we are paying everybody to move off from the, from the corridor. Um, majorly, most of them have left. We pay them off. A few are yet to be concluded. Um, uh, meaning they have not yet been paid, but we'll soon pay them. Hopefully by the end of this month, we'll pay all of them, and then the whole corridor will now be free for us to work. It's been a worry to us for some time now. Uh, we've been concerned about it because we don't know the actual day that we're going to demolish the station. At least it gives us something to you know, depend on. So if there's going to be a demolition, meaning it's going to affect us and uh, you know, daily things that we've been doing. So yes. It's been an attention to each and everyone here is being concerned about that. For how long have you been living here? Oh, um, get it to seven years. And the building is for my dad. So I work in my dad company. So when this place is demolished, uh, what will be the next place for you, I mean, in terms of work? Oh, we already found a place we are going to work at. It's around Nungwa Market, okay. the same building. For now, my daddy hasn't told me anything about things, so I don't know my stand now, whether to pack my things or not. So I'm waiting for him to give me the final details that, oh, we'll be moving end of this month or next month, so that we know what to do. The project is estimated to cost $100 million in total, and two Chinese contractors are executing it on two lots. Lot 1 is being handled by China Gansu Construction Limited, while Lot 2 
is being handled by China Railway Major Bridge Engineering Group Company Limited. The same company is also executing the construction of a three-tier overhead bridge. Augustine Chum has been speaking to City News. Estimated time for completion is 24 months. That is for the whole project, which should end around somewhere November this year. But um, for the road section, that is, we are planning on completing this month. That's the road towards Tema. So about 60 to 70 percent of the road works is done. And for the interchange, about 35.3 percent is completed. So um, next year by June, this project should be done. How is it going to look like when it's completed? Okay, as she rightly said, it's a three-tier interchange. So we have um, um, an ES bridge. When I say ES, I mean uh, travelers from Nungwa to Tema have a bridge. From Nungwa to Sakumono have the main bridge. And then from Tema also to Nungwa has another bridge. Of course, it has uh, pedestrian walkways and um, a slip road for the junction mall, which is the main uh, 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 spot for this interchange. Yeah. The works, as stated, is being undertaken by the Ministry of Rules with the Department of Urban Rules as the implementing agency. Some drivers who plied the stretch say the work is progressing too slowly. Traffic is disturbed by traffic, so they for trying to do it fast for we. It made the, the, the bus stop said we go park and get the passenger to now, we don't get any bus stop to park and take passenger. So they for trying to do it fast for we, then we make free small. Construction works on the Labadi to Tema stretch is progressing steadily. The consultant to this particular project tells me that work is almost 40% complete on the lot 1 and almost 60% complete on the lot 2. The lot 2 actually entails a, th a three-tier um, overpass for which we understand would finish in the coming weeks. Essentially, the contractors are hoping to hand over this project roughly by November this year or early next year. My name is Fred Joe reporting from Tishinungwa for City News.